Hi everyone. Welcome to the session. In this session I am going to discuss about how to prepare a consolidated financial position. So in this regard I have selected one question. So let's go through the question first then we'll move on to discuss how to prepare a consolidated financial position. So let's uh, go through the question. Paul acquired 75% of the 50,000 shares in Sam on 1st January 2017. So Paul has acquired 75% of the shares of Sam company. The market price of Sam's shares just before the acquisition was US dollar 1300 per share. Paul measures the non-controlling interest at fair value and the market price is the best indicator of this. Now, uh, at the time of acquisition, the Sam's company's shares were 1300 per share. So, we need to calculate the non-controlling interest based on the fair value, not based on the, uh, the current assets, uh, not based on the net current assets, not based on the net assets at the time of acquisition. So it has to be based on the fair value. Okay. So statement of financial position of Paul and Sam at 1st January 2017 were as follows. So you are given the uh, Paul company financial position as well as Sam company financial position. So what is required is prepare the consolidated schedule of the Paul group at the acquisition date. So what is the uh, acquisition date? So what is the acquisition date? So acquisition date is on uh, 1st January 2017. So you need to uh, prepare the consolidated schedule of Paul group. Okay. So Paul is the parent company. Sam is the subsidiary company. So Paul has acquired 75% of Sam company. So on 1st January 2017. So this is the acquisition date. Okay. So on this date, the share price was 1300 per share. So how many shares were there? 50,000 shares. Okay. And 25% of the shares belongs to the non-controlling interest. Okay. So at the time of acquisition, we need to identify the uh, net assets, identifiable net assets at the time of acquisition. So what will be the identifiable net assets? So which are, uh, which will be uh, share capital uh, 50,000 and retain earnings will be 25,000. To acquire these net assets, the poll has invested 70,000. Poll has invested 70,000. Now, based on this, you need to prepare the consolidated schedule at the at the acquisition date okay so you are not given any post acquisition transactions okay so therefore this is very uh, simple calculation so if the post acquisition information are given then we need to incorporate the post acquisition profit as well so in this uh, in this question we don't need to deal with the post profits. So straight away we need to prepare the consolidated schedule. Now in order to prepare the consolidated schedule, so what we need to do is we need to combine the parent and the subsidiary company, the financial position and we need to take the combined, the combined financial position. Then, from the combined financial position, we need to make certain adjustments. Okay, 
So we need to make certain adjustments to identify the consolidated financial position. Consolidated financial position. Okay. So now when you prepare the consolidated financial position, there are certain items which are under uh, financial position of parent company will be removed as well as certain items in the subsidiary companies will be eliminated when you prepare the group financial position because it will not form part of the group certain transactions belongs to parent and certain transaction belongs to subsidiary companies will not form part of the group so therefore we need to make certain adjustments to remove those transactions so let's move on to the calculation part so we need to prepare the consolidated schedule as at the acquisition date now i have taken the paul and sam company financial positions okay and i have already taken the combined financial position it's a line by line addition let's take the first item in the financial position which is the property plant and equipment so 60000 plus 50000 will be 110000 then shares in s 70000 so this is the uh, investment made by paul company in sam company to acquire the net assets of subsidiary company so 70000 the total uh, non current assets will be 180 so 130 plus 50 current assets 52 plus 70, 35 will be 87000 so total will be 267000 then stated capital or the share capital of the parent is 100 and sam company 50 150 retained earnings 70 plus 25 95000 then your the current liability is 12000 plus 10000 will be 22000 so uh, the share capital plus return earnings plus the current liability will be 267000 so this is the combined financial position so as you can see when you prepare the combined financial position i have taken one line for goodwill as well as non controlling interest okay so when you uh, when you prepare the consolidated financial uh, position first of all what you need to do is you need to uh, compare the investment investment made by parent company along with the along with the net assets of the subsidiary company to identify the goodwill okay so therefore let's take the adjustment column so this is the adjustment column so i'll take the adjustment column uh, for the acquisition uh, journal so first of all what you need what you need to do is you need to remove the investment you need to remove the investment from the consolidated financial position so it should not be there in the consolidated financial position so therefore we need to remove that okay so by removing this we have to compare this with the net assets so what will be the net assets so net assets will be 50 plus 25 so you need to compare with this to identify the goodwill so let's calculate the goodwill part of it so what will be the goodwill so goodwill will be the purchase consideration so how much is the consideration transferred or the investment made which is 70000 which is 70000 so to this 70000 you need to add the non controlling interest at fair value okay so at fair value you need to add this uh, uh, non controlling interest how much is that so we you are given the market price of sam shares just before the acquisition 
as 1300 per share okay so let's take 1300 per share so 1300 per share so that will be how much 16250 okay so then you need to remove the net assets identifiable net assets at the time of acquisition which will be 75000 so then the goodwill has to be 11250 so your goodwill is 11250 okay so that goodwill has to be shown as the consolidated financial position uh, goodwill okay so goodwill in consolidation has to be shown in the consolidated financial position so therefore you need to show uh, you need to show this under uh, adjustment column 11250 then since we are removing the net assets we are comparing with the uh, the amount invest invested so we need to remove it from the uh, net assets of SAM company so 50,000 has to be removed 25,000 also has to be removed so therefore when you take the consolidated financial position the investment made by parent company will not be part of the consolidated financial position because the group does not have any investment it will not form part of the consolidated financial position or the group financial position and in the meantime the stated capital or the share capital okay uh, the stated capital will be the capital of the parent company in the consolidated financial position so in the consolidated financial position what we have to show as stated capital will be the parent company share capital simply because the owner of the group is the parent company or the pole not the SAM not the subsidiary company so therefore the stated capital or the share capital has to be part of the consolidated financial position which is the parent company the subsidiary company will not form part of the group as well as the retained earnings also we need to take the parent company we need to take the parent company not the subsidiary company because it will not form part of the uh, the group financial position simply because these uh, net assets at the time of acquisition will be compared this will be compared with our investment made by the parent company okay so we have removed this apart from that we we have to recognize the goodwill and also we need to recognize the non-controlling interest okay the non-controlling uh, interest balance will appear in the uh, equity and reserves uh, section of the consolidated financial position because this will reflect the fact that although the parent company controls the net assets of the subsidiary company the non-controlling interest legally owns a proportion okay so non-controlling interest legally owns a proportion of SAM company so therefore the non-controlling interest will form part of the group financial position so uh, we calculated that as 11 uh, how much non-controlling interest 16,000 250 so we have to show that 16,250 as non-controlling interest so this will be the non-controlling interest column then this will be the consolidated financial position column so now let's take the remaining balances the property plant and equipment so line by line we are adding so 110,000 will remain the same there is no adjustments so later on there will be uh, later on I will discuss the adjustments relating to 
the consolidated uh, financial position with regard to other other uh, items in the financial position so since there is no adjustments required for this so let's take the full amount 110000 so investment we are eliminating from the total column with the adjustment column so there is no balance here it will be zero then the goodwill has to be recorded goodwill be goodwill uh, will be the part of the financial position so therefore the total uh, non current assets will be 121250 then the current assets also there are no adjustments required straight away we can take 87000 then the total will be 208250 okay so this will be the total uh, current total assets now the equity the share capital will be only the parent company because group is owned by the parent company so therefore we have to take 100000 so 50000 we have eliminated so return earnings also will be the parent company retain earnings which is 70000 so 25000 be 25000 of uh, subsidiary company we have removed to calculate the goodwill then the non controlling interest we calculated so this has to be part of our consolidated financial position simply because they own part of the shares in sam company so therefore the group has to be uh, uh, therefore the non controlling has to be shown in the consolidated financial position then the total will be so 108 186250 the current liability there are no adjustments required so therefore you can take straight away 22000 so when you add up the total will be 208250 so this will be the consolidated financial position as at the acquisition date so this is the answer for this particular question so with this i will conclude the uh, discussion on uh, the preparation of the basic consolidation schedule uh, i will see you soon with another video so if you like the video please uh, subscribe the channel and also you can share with your friends and i'll see you soon with another uh, video on consolidation adjustments so until then uh, bye for now